as the New York Yankees exemplify so well, baseball is a team sport. But its essence is the confrontation between two players, pitcher and hitter. And the pressure on the pitcher is enormous. One mistake, the game is over. Well, the new book, Every Pitcher Tells a Story, offers an inside look at the life of pitchers. And I recently spoke with the author, Seth Swirsky, at Shea Stadium, home of the New York Mets. And I asked him what it is about pitchers that makes them unique. You're up there in the spotlight. Your teammates are depending on you. 50,000 people are looking at you. And on top of trying to think of the, what the batter's tendencies are and all the emotional things that go on with a pitcher, you've got to take a ball and throw it 60 feet, 6 inches, and get it to an exact point. That's not an easy thing to do. Major League pitchers, in their own words, on being Major League pitchers. Jamie Moyer talked about um, how alone it is to be on that mound with everybody watching you, and you have to really um, come up with the goods. The mound is an 18-foot circle which I consider my office. I do feel alone because ultimately, I have the final say in what pitch is thrown. And then the pitcher who will be remembered forever just for one thing, which is giving up McGuire's 70. That was Carl Pavano for the Montreal Expos. He'd sat there game after game saying, if I get in, I'm going to go after him. That's right. He said, I was going to challenge McGuire and I was going to beat him. And I got up to the mound and I threw him a pitch. Then he says, crack gone 70 the rest is history the most interesting letter of all i thought came from a pitcher not about his pitching but about something he witnessed mace brown mace brown was a rookie pitcher for the pittsburgh pirates in 1935 babe ruth hit his final home run for the boston braves as babe ruth rounded the bases he didn't go back into the braves dugout his home team he went into the Pirates' dugout, inexplicably, and sat next to this young rookie pitcher, Mace Brown. I asked Mace Brown, what, uh, what did the babe say to you? And Mace Brown wrote, the babe said, boy, that last one felt really good. And it was Babe Ruth's final home run, number 714. Nobody said, babe, it's time to go back to your That's dugout. right. Babe just sat there. That's right, and pitcher Mace Brown really had a great story to tell for the rest of his life. I loved your question, too, pitcher named Jerry Royce and his answer. Yes. I asked Jerry Royce if after all these years when he sees his old friends, his old teammates, whether things have changed or not. And on a postcard, he just wrote, um, same players, different wives. So he really kind of got right to the point. <laughs> <laughs> and how about uh, the player, the pitcher, who was traded for fish? Well, that was a guy named Ken Crahenbuehl. And he was uh, traded to the uh, Mississippi Oxford Bluesman for 10 pounds of catfish. So I asked him what it was like to tell his family that. And he said it was the most embarrassing thing you can only imagine. He goes, the only saving grace was that I pitched a perfect game the next game. Yeah, but those catfish were really good. And any, uh...